Here it is, the last video submission for 2022. <laughs> no, I didn't come up with anything witty today, just didn't have time. I've lost so many days due to hiccups around here. It's absolutely mind boggling, but it's what it is. I might, I think I might be able to pull it off in, in the next handful of days, though. I definitely will, for sure. And um, it's been quite the ride so far, hasn't it? But I will do, I'll give you some kind of a, a wind up just off the top of my head. I don't know how long ago we started doing this. Three years? Holy shit, three freaking years, maybe even more. And um, how many emails have there been? Seriously. And you know, when I, what, when, what made me decide, I, I shared in an earlier email, what made me decide to come forward with what I know and what I've seen was only due to the fact of my grandfather dying still afraid of all the people in the world that he actually offered up his life for to protect during World War II. And I thought, F that. I ain't scared of shit. This is what I've seen, and this is, yeah, I'm gonna come forward. Yeah, I have seen them. And there isn't anybody big enough to laugh me into changing my story. It's not going to happen. I didn't ask for it. 
it happened and there's a human being out there that can change what I saw with my own eyes period and that was yeah uh, that changed my outlook on life years ago far 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 beyond when I first became aware of the internet since then and then of course well let's have a little recap so then what happened I came forward and holy shit the Bigfoot community came lunging lunging after me in my direction I had people from the east coast some little weasel in the east coast bugging me bugging me bugging me they wanted me to join with them join with them join with them and spread some word and join some whatever thing he's got going on and I didn't even answer him I didn't answer any of them I just didn't answer them I've been watching enough of those clowns for years shaking my head and watching them and watching them and shaking my head realizing how many of them need it to be about them and needed it to be about them and how many people needed you to think and believe that these beings were monkeys or a, a gorilla directly possibly lineage to Gigantopithecus and I knew all these years I knew they were all bogus lying sons of bitches and then I thought what the hell I'll call them I'll call them on it out loud live publicly why not right what are they gonna do to me I'll tell the truth I'll expose them for what they are and who they're doing that's what I started to do and then I started to sift through who the possible good and the bad people were and then a lot of the people were trying to get me to there I was getting lots of side and form informing of what so-and-so was saying and doing to so-and-so in the Bigfoot community the, the the bad guys against the good guys which fired me up because I don't like bullies and I'd stick it to them and then I had other people through other people that were going to use me to deliver to you the facts of something that went down with the Patterson footage and apparently one of the two people who filmed its wife's allegedly still had pieces Sasquatch parts and pieces from when that videotape went down they were going to use me finally to be a conduit to all of you to show what's going down I'm like okay give it to me I don't give a shit I'll share it whatever you got then the word was well they got cold feet <laughs> and then after a little while of all the horseshit I'm probably not even making any sense right now anyway but what I'm saying is after a little while all the horseshit all that BS going back and forth in all those groups and I finally went holy shit get me out of here and back to you kick them all leave them all over there let them squabble all over there let them hash out and do all their dirty shit over there and leave me alone and let's get down to business and get past all the bullshit and start talking honest and getting it out through the people and make it about the people that's what we did look what happened I think there was I think at one point there was uh five to seven thousand new subscribers every single day this channel was getting dog piled especially as soon as I said hey man you guys you too nervous about telling your stories <sighs> email to me I'll share it I don't give a shit I'll read it word for word for you I got you I got your back send it to me and the email started coming then next thing you know my email was overloaded clogged jammed to the top the one that I made which was share my story you share my story tell my story whichever one came first and what happened then I had to open up another email because I phoned my email server it would be the server whoever holds my domain for my email and they had a glitch and they couldn't correct they couldn't give me more space in my email yet so I had to make a second email so now we had share my story at outhunt.com and tell my story at outhunt.com and both those emails started getting absolutely choke loaded and I believe two years ago I had over 20,000 emails in my inboxes 20,000 emails right and that also what that also showed me was that the majority of the people in the world who are witnessing to all this shit they were much much more too intelligent too smart to even consider contacting some of those embarrassing names in the so-called Bigfoot Sasquatch community obviously right what do they do they sat there watching this channel grow and mature they sat here and watched all of you coming here they sat here and watched and realized finally finally we have the place finally this is really truly it this is the safe place to share with all the like-minded people they're here finally no embarrassing 
cringe-worthy reality TV actors, right? No narcissistic wacko pals that need all of you to believe what they believe or else, right? Everybody finally had a place to come and deliver their emails, deliver their experiences, take from the what they will or just leave it. And, but stay here and be respected, number one, and learn and grow with each other. And that's what's happened, right? And then, of course, me, stubborn prick, said, I will get every single one of these emails heard. I don't give a shit how long it takes. It's, it's, I will get them all heard. And once I say I'm going to do something, I know a lot of you don't know me personally. But once I say I'm going to do something, I make sure I do it. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what my what the goal is I set out, even from a, from a minor thing to a big thing. If I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So I said all these emails will be shared and they will be shared. And I think, I don't know how many are in there right now. You know, if I, if I had more time, if I didn't have so many hiccups this past week, I would have prepared early and, and dumped a bunch of time into making a wicked year-end video for everybody. I will do that. But just as, I, as an example, I think this is probably my third phone, I'm guessing, since I've been doing this at least. And on this phone, I have 1,986 red emails in OneNotes, the note folder that I moved those two after I read them. And in the other one, I have 984 unread in the notes right here. Then I just found another folder with another 19 and another 18, another folder, different folders, different names that I started doing earlier. And then who knows how many, sorry, excuse me. Who knows how many hundreds possibly thousands of unread emails are in my inboxes. Isn't it amazing? It's amazing, but it's truth. That's what truth does. The truth isn't small. Truth is huge, right? And yes, a shit pile of emails are similar. That also backs up the truth end of it, right? <laughs> it's so funny over the, over the years, we had a lot, of, a lot of people come here and bring nothing but hate and anger. And a lot, of them have, a lot of them have been deleted and blocked. A lot. And I think it's down to five. It got to the point I just could not go to the comment section anymore because I just want to go and fight. I, I can't, I've, already, I've admitted a million times in my weakness. Somebody comes after me, comes on to me unprovoked. I, I, I can't walk away. So I realized soon I, I should just stay away from the comment section because I can't have a wicked tongue on me. And, uh, and I can have a, I don't give a flat and shit what anybody thinks and I'll just hammer away like I'm having a verbal assault on one of the sleaziest sons of bitches in the planet. And that's what I've started to do a few times. And obviously that's kind of ugly for the people to see. So I made a rule to myself. All right, just stay away from the comment section. But I have a feeling the comment section has been cleaned up over the past few years. And it's actually a very pleasant, positive place to go. Right. There's so many good, good, intelligent, free people here. Isn't there? There's so many. Such a relief to know that there's that this many people in the world who know, who can think for themselves and are brave and are concerned about the neighbors and they want to share knowledge experiences and help people and protect people and expose the bad people. It's, it's comforting for me to know there's this many and who knows how many more. I mean, this, the, subscript, the actual subscription number on the channel doesn't mean shit. It does not mean shit compared to the views. The views are off the frickin' chart. I mean, just a couple months ago, we had a total of 10 million views in one month. It usually, I think it ranges anywhere between six to, I don't know, six to eight or nine million views a month. Yet there's what, 275,000 subscribers. So there, there is a shit pile load of people benefiting and learning from this channel sitting there quietly in the bleachers not saying a word not subscribing but they're here every day we're all here looking to learn it's pretty cool isn't it how many places i've taken you guys to i've taken you to i've shared i've shared what i've seen all around north america i know that but directly reading your experiences. I think I have basically taken everyone 
offshore in the Pacific Ocean. I'm, I'm taking you all to rivers and forests in Vancouver Island. I've taken you to the coastal mountains all around Whistler, British Columbia, Pemberton, British Columbia. I've taken you to the mountains and forests around Kamloops, BC. I've taken you to the northern Rocky Mountains. I've taken you to the Yukon. I've taken you to the Tachinshini. That's the farthest northwest corner of BC you can find. I've taken you to remote north central British Columbia. I've taken you to the coastal jungles, the coastal mountains, and I've taken you to the man cave. But I've, showed, I've shown you a lot of the outdoors that I've seen. I still have piles more that I want to share with you. I have, I think I have about 10 or 12 external hard drives full of outdoor videos, video content that I've created. Now that's another side note, every single piece of video you've ever seen on my channel, I filmed it. <laughs> Unless of course it was accompanying a email and somebody sent it in, but all the wildlife, all the fishing, the hunting, the, the quads, the horses, the bu bu bush planes, it's all, everything I videotaped, every square inch of it, second of it. But anyway, what have we received from the people over this past few years? This year especially, we've received video. We received video from an extra game warden law officer in California. Video of one standing up in the river. Remember that one? We have received... Oh, wow. I've, I've received another video. Uh, I received another piece of video from a source who received it from a person in the military. I won't even say which military it was, but I... They sent me a uh, thermal video of a Sasquatch. It is absolutely mind boggling. Still waiting for permission to share that one day. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Who knows, but I, out of respect, I respect people and what they wish for. So we will sit and wait. Maybe one day they'll say, go ahead and share with the, with the world. I'm sure one day, obviously somebody will. Uh, what else we have? We had numerous photographs. We've, we've received numerous audio recordings, trail camera photos, blurry this, blurry that, orbs on here, orbs on that. I've, I've filmed bright lights in the mountains and shared it with you guys. Videos of stuff being thrown at me while making videos. What else? I had weird bright lights or eyeballs moving on a trail cam of mine in the coastal mountains of British Columbia in the middle of butt F nowhere. I just came across that clip yesterday while I was diving through, sifting through clips. What else have we had? We've had everybody, every single flavor of career person. We'd have, we've had every walk of life email, police officers, priests, military personnel, taxi cab drivers, loggers, shippers, truckers, nurses, psychologists, hunting guides, fishing guides, Basically, it doesn't matter. It does not matter what your profession is. It, you know, people say it's even police officers or, or even uh, judges or even psychologists. It doesn't matter. Here, it doesn't matter what you do to pay the bills. It doesn't matter. All you are when you come to this channel is a human being living your human experience on this planet and you are no better than anybody else. You're, you are no trustworthier than anybody else, right? I don't give a shit what you do for a living. It does not matter. What matters is, is you are a true, good, brave, open-minded, free-thinking human being who cares about their fellow human beings. That's it. That's all that matters here. But we definitely have had, a, it, is, it isn't a select group on the planet that has these experiences. It's everybody. Doesn't matter what color you are, doesn't matter how much money you got, what you drive, who you know, it just doesn't matter. And that's the way it should be, right? But anyway, it's been quite the ride. I have learned a lot. I know I know that I have matured a lot myself. I know I have come a lot further. I've I've grown with patience. Um, I did. I'm, I'm first one to admit. I came out swinging. I wanted to fight to the. I wanted to come out and fight when I first came out. And the more I got attacked, the more I wanted to come back and win. We won, <laughs> right? No, all those so-called names don't say shit about me or us anymore, right? They're just sitting in the background now, watching quietly, hoping to not, not be seen here. <laughs>
But anyways, I'm babbling. I want to get some voices heard. And I will make, I am going to make a couple more year-end theme videos when I get a little more time. And uh, I mean, it's what is this? It's 2.30 right now. I've been asked 6 o'clock this morning nonstop in various tasks, but I'm getting caught up. But I want to make a video. I was hoping to make a video to show all the different things I've seen with you guys while I've been sharing your emails, those video backdrops. Wouldn't mind making a quick video of all those, a couple seconds from each clip. Boop, 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 boop. What else? I wouldn't mind making a witty, funny year end email <laughs> that'll make us all laugh and cringe because I really don't give a shit who I, who I piss off or what I say, but what I do say, I always do say the truth. So I'll say some cringe worthy fun truth. And a funny email year end wind up as well. Why? Because it's funny. <laughs> but in the meantime, that's enough babbling for me for now. Me and my babbles, right? I must, I must be the king of babbles. Earned it this past year. Now listen to this. I found a couple emails that I lost in another note. I lost, I misplaced them in another note, but this one was February 22. Listen to this. This is titled My Story and Info I've Researched as a Nurse. A DNA info and how it connects to Bigfoot. Man, am I glad I found this one. Dear Steve, I truly enjoy your channel. I watch almost daily when my husband laughs at me. I've had a few strange experiences myself at the end of this. And I happen to be deeply interested in all things truth. As a nurse with my RN and BSN, I have seen the corruption in healthcare over the years. I quit patient care nursing in 2018, back when they stopped giving us the choice of this, even before the C vid nonsense, I already saw corruption occurring in healthcare when known cures to things were being squashed, hidden, and discredited. Yeah, I was very aware of that too. Funny how nobody talks about that shit anymore, right? I worked with pediatrics and adult patients over those years. My own child experienced damage from a I realized what I was doing was morally and ethically wrong once I knew what was actually happening. I didn't want to be the person turning on the gas chamber, so to speak. I realized after 10 years of nursing that most of what I was doing was giving people temporary comfort while the treatments given often shortened lifespan and worsened conditions overall. They want customers and curing patients. They want customers and curing patients doesn't give them lifelong customers. Anyway, sorry to go on a tangent. No apologies required. This is kind of what led me to research on the Sasquatch. The truth bug got me bad. I want to know everything I was ever lied about. Oh my God, no doubt. I just thought about this now. All of you in the medical field who saw all of this shit going down it's no different than us having a face-to-face -face one of these beings. It kicks you in the head and it makes you go, oh my God, what else are we being lied about? Lied to about why are we being lied to? Right? Right there with you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. The chemtrails, toxic 5G, the food companies that are owned by some few companies that also own pharmaceutical companies, they make us sick and dumb us down. The majority of info I have that you may find interesting comes from my long research into my rare blood type, that is RH blood. This may sound ridiculous and made, and made up, but I can assure you this is the majority of people who are RH, who I speak to, share the similar experience. Most of my life I've experienced strange phenomena related to electrical interference, light bulbs blowing multiple times in a day sometimes. Street lights going out as I walk beneath them late at night. My husband also has seen them go out when we drive past them too. Lights flickering constantly anywhere we go. That is freaking crazy. You should videotape that shit. I actually record it. Oh, here we go. I actually record it all on video now to show I'm not making this up. Get it to me. Our blood has more copper and is more acidic than RH plus blood, making us conductive like a battery. At least that's the theory in the underground RH groups I'm in. The intelligence agency agencies all track us and we're often targeted individuals. 
And even the History Channel claimed in a documentary that the majority of alien abductions that occur are RH individuals. No shit, this is all new to me. I don't watch TV though, right? The History Channel's controlled disclosure because they lie about our true origins. We are not alien blood. They can't fit us into the evolution, evolution narrative because our DNA simply lacks antigens. Evolution didn't happen when you look at DNA. It shows we have been damaged more and more every year we are not evolving. We were perfect how we began and had great powers and abilities we lost. They don't want us to connect that. They don't want us to connect that antigens form when damage occurs from types of viruses, parasites, or radiation damage, for example. They don't want any info about parasites getting out either, and that's another tangent for another time. So, I promise this will connect to Bigfoot soon. So in my research, I realized the origin, original human blood locked all antigen damage, not just Rh plus antigens, and was pure active DNA. People with O blood, for instance, lack antigen damage. And people with RH blood lack antigen damage from RH, bracket D, end bracket. DNA has been damaged. DNA has been damaged up to 95 to 95%, 97%, depending on which study. Our DNA is 95 to 97% inactive. Meaning... The antigens, which are proteins that change the epigenetic expression of DNA, are making alleles, alleles, sorry, alleles become inactive or to change how they express. One strange thing I've learned, I've learned people with O minus blood, O negative blood, sorry guys, O negative blood are considered a threat to the CIA. In one document declassified, it says, quote, any time two or more O negative blood are together, it can trigger a revolution in consciousness, end quote. Holy shit, here's a whole new rabbit hole for me to donate time to, isn't it? They also recruit O negative for remote viewing projects in CIA projects. These people just have less damaged DNA and more active DNA that was once all humans humans abilities hmm does this sound familiar and that's where i've been kind of swinging in my brain lately for a while now what is it we used to be able to do what is it we're supposed to be able to do rh negative had become a dirty word in the truth community because the elite allegedly have rh negative blood no actual proof but rumors on this by the way I believe the elite wouldn't have any damaged blood because their bloodlines are the ones who damaged to a majority of humankind. They are mostly parasitic controlled entities, even if they have RH negative blood. The RH negative individuals like myself and many others have experienced targeted situations their entire lives. We may be the actual true, quote, Jews, end quote, which has become a widely abused word. And the ones who say they are Jews may be actual Gentile bloodline. It is important to note, Jesus died for the Jews and the Gentiles. So, the question I've always had was, what does it mean to be a Gentile? I've deeply researched this in an in-out-of-print books form. Sorry. I've deeply researched this in an in-out-of-print in books form. The 1800s even. Might be a typo in there. Gentiles might simply be the offspring of Nephilim mating with humans. So they are more human than Nephilim, and they still have human souls and have a conscious. In this book, Giants and Dwarfs, from the 1800s, it recently Stephen Quayle got back in print, even though the book was out of print for decades. It discusses how the Nephilim were classified based off not being able to have any ability to differentiate between right and wrong, and they lacked consciousness. Humans, when they lacked antigen damage, had more abilities. Some RH negative that I know have access to more abilities than others because they have more active DNA. 
we have unusual characteristics, which if you join any private group, you can find out real quick what all those are. It sounds almost S S SCI for explaining it. There is even a book called The Levite Priest and RH Negative Blood that talks about specific blo blue bloods were only ones allowed near the Ark of the Covenant. This has had to do with something in our blood. Wow. Now, how does this connect to Bigfoot? Bigfoot may be Gentile, half Nephilim, or full Nephilim, depending on which one and how much percent of DNA is still human. The more mixed breed Bigfoots truly may have a conscious soul, and some of the more evil, quote, red-eyed, end quote, ones may be mostly Nephilim. I've heard of Bigfoot even believing in Jesus and the Creator. The reason they have some extra abilities may be because their DNA has been separate from mankind long enough to have not sustained some of the damage the rest of us have had. In fact, even the RH negative or O blood types may have 90% damaged other DNA, and we may even as human race be more Gentile than some of the more human-related Bigfoot's DNA. There are truly evil, soulless monsters out there. But there are also Bigfoot who are half-human, who may have a soul and have unique powers we don't have access to anymore because they breed with humans back when our blood was more pure. Giants did exist, and so did many creatures. Skinwalkers exist from ritual ceremonies, and Bigfoot are likely Nephilim in origin. When Nephilim breed with humans and made half-breed Nephilim, which I believe are the true definition of being a Gentile, the more antigen damaged, damaged humans or Bigfoots have the less active DNA they will have. This C vid <laughs> is just one more antigen to inactivate on allele. Allele. A L L E L E. The spike proteins on the RH plus blood cell may be given the allele directions to inactivate or change gene expression. Some of us are, are half RH plus and RH negative because RH negative is a recessive allele that only shows up in genetic profile, not on a simple blood type typing test. There is so much we don't know about mankind's history. The Great Flood had to happen because the Nephilim would have taken out the entire human race and completely corrupted mankind. There are many Nephilim who survived the Flood, but they didn't have enough to ruin mankind. The final battle between God and the Fallen Ones has yet to occur, occur and they want to make sure humankind is as damaged and weak as they can before that happens. They take our powers and our abilities every round of these. The parasites they release in society in meat, foods, and drinks are also able to change DNA over time. We deworm the baby's dogs, cattle, and horses when they were born, yet most humans in the Western world know nothing about parasites and that they are at root of lost health issues because they cause gut damage and hold on to heavy metals to prevent being detoxed. They also can send messaging to brain to make you crave foods and sugars and to change behaviors. The woman who wrote a book on curing autism, the woman who wrote a book on curing autism, who has been driven underground for curing children by removing two meter long parasites from these children and using supplements the powers that be do not want you to know about. She has cured thousands. And I know of other nurses who have witnessed, who witnessed kids being completely reversed from autism only to have a doctor hotline the family for using a supplement that I won't mention the name of because it'll get your video banned if you read this. Anyways, there are treatments and cures to cancer and every chronic disease. All cures start with healing the gut and detoxing parasites before any natural supplement will work or even be able to absorb. Holy shit. Um, mail it to me. I'll share it on the Rumble channel, all right? Mail me all you got. I'm basically saying that, saying they are damaging our DNA in a number of ways. 
The doctors and nurses are not taught the truth and are mindless henchmen. When a parasite detoxed, sorry, when I parasite detoxed myself, I had so many different kinds and I wouldn't consider myself that unhealthy. I didn't know how being healthy felt until I did this. This is not health advice, just an observation that any human who eats meat or has animals around them has parasites. This isn't even including the nanotech lab made parasites. They are spraying on all food and in water systems. If you avoid getting back these, then it gives you a leg up, but you aren't out of harm's way until you realize it's not just the these. We are in an all out war for our DNA. Okay, that, that last sentence right there absolutely makes sense to me. Take it from where you learn, leave it, right? But that makes huge sense to me from where I've been going lately. Salvage whatever good DNA you have left. Eat naturally. Detox regularly. And don't allow their bad, don't allow their bad energy from news and pop music frequencies to take over your brain. 5G and the new C-band 5G are turning this nanoparticles on are turning this nanoparticles on using them as receiving and and transmitter antenna it may sound crazy but i promise it isn't when my spouse and i turned off our phones got harmonizing organizing rf devices to plug into our homes and use excuse me copper shielding to block out smart meter we began sleeping so deeply and having dreams again that we remembered. I dream every night now. Dreams are important. Communication from creator and subconscious mind. We don't know what they are implanting in subconscious mind with those smart meters and cell phone waves. There is so much more going on beneath the surface. Anytime demonic haunting occur, the EMF levels are high in random spots and animalous magnetic ELF. The other phenomena associated with high RF is Skinwalker Ranch and the places with strange magnetic anomalies and weird cattle mutilations. So what I'm saying is, the sudden push for 5G and RF may be related to some kind of major portal event opening creatures and demons from other realms or a fake UFO invasion. The RF and EMF are so toxic to humans so even if people can't grasp how it connects to spiritual realms, it is still highly disturbing the worldwide push for it. Check out Dr. Mercola's, M-E-R-C-O-L-A-S book, quote, E-M-F star D, end quote. That's all I'll say on this, on the topic, even though I can explain a great deal more about magnetic ley lines, RF and free energy technology related to UFOs and charging stations. I'll stop because I'm making this way too long as it is. The problem I have is that the truth doesn't lie in just one thing. It is only when you can connect every lie that you can understand how it all works. So, one last side note on Bigfoots. Gentile Bigfoots are likely able to be saved and have souls, and some are Nephilim soulless, soulless demons. I definitely wouldn't go out to communicate with them because there are some who are truly soulless Nephilim and you have no way to know which one you're dealing with. I wish anyone who can mind speak with them or has established communications with them to ask them about some of this info. There you go. We definitely have a handful of people watching right now who claim to have this ability and it sounds like they just might indeed. So let's see what happens. Now, I'll write about my most notable experience in the woods. It's not as exciting as most people's encounters, but it was so terrifying to us at the time. A good friend of mine and I went on an all-girls hiking cabin trip without our husbands and without any guns. We learned real fast why this was a terrible idea. We're at a place that is in the Mark Twain National Forest near the St. Francois Mountains near Black, Missouri, and we were on a cabin on a part of a campground mostly in the woods. So everything was okay until about 2 a.m. when something began banging on what seemed like the part just below the roof of this 
tall roof of our cabin. It almost seemed like it was banging on the roof itself at one point. I was so scared I could barely speak to get my friend who was sleeping across the room's attention because I was like frozen in fear. She too heard it and was scared like this fear I cannot even explain. We had no cell service and the campground had this really crappy Wi-Fi that barely let you send a Facebook message and didn't work for phone calls or streaming. I messaged my husband. I was so scared. He tried calling the campground and no one answered, of course, because it's nighttime. We didn't even know what police department could get there. Also, would we look like frantic, paranoid women if they arrived? I couldn't see any police being able to even get there within 35 minutes, at least based on the long, windy road, windy roads to get there. If my kids would have been there too, I'd have had my husband make police come. It just felt really scary because I couldn't dial 911 because we had no cell service and we had nothing in the cabin to defend, to defend ourselves. And also, the back locks didn't even work right. And I wasn't even sure if it was locked. We decided finally to, finally to play Christian music and frequency, frequency healing music that I had saved in my downloaded music on my phone loudly to get our minds off the terror. And the banging continued on one more time. Sorry, the banging continued one more time at about 4.30 a.m. Then it stopped. We ever dared to go outside and the two small windows we had were not on the side that was being banged on. Yeah, they never are. The same as when I was in that cabin, it banged on the wall behind, behind my head and above me, but there's no windows on the whole wall. It went around the back and right behind me on the high end of the wall, beating on it. I guess got goosebumps all over my arms remembering that. We also had blinds tightly down for fear something would see in and we couldn't see out. The next morning when we woke up, before we went outside, we convinced ourselves this was a tree branch, maybe banging on the cabin roof. To our horror, there was absolutely nothing near the roof of the cabin. We paid good money for this really nice cabin with a full bath and shower, and we had one more night left of the trip. We still convinced ourselves we would stay another night. <laughs> no way. We had a rafting scheduled for that day and went on this day long rafting trip, and we were so exhausted and thought maybe we just imagined everything being way worse, and even told ourselves maybe it was a squirrel on the roof, even though the banging was wall shaking. When we got back to the campground following rafting, it, it being Sunday and everyone leaving for the week, it was completely empty. I'm talking not a single car for miles and even the place you check in was closed and locked. We got out of the car and felt like something was watching us. Our hair on our neck was raised and I got goosebumps. Even with no sleep and being completely exhausted from rafting, we both immediately decided we're getting the F out of there. We took everything out of the cabins, threw it in the car in completely heap, and this primal instinct to just get out of there right now. I've never packed up that quick on any trip. It was so eerie and quiet. The entire place was empty and just the woods had no sounds. No one was home who ran the place. We felt so vulnerable and scared. On our drive home, my friend told me when we were hiking, she felt very scared. Something was trailing us, but didn't tell me because I was, I was having such a good time hiking. I convinced myself the footsteps were hearing, we were hearing were deer. But I never have gone hunting in my life and have absolutely no idea what human versus Bigfoot versus small animal differences are. We also ran into this hunt. We also ran into this hunting dogs that seem to be lost and starving when hiking far into the woods on these horseback riding trails. There was nothing out there for miles where we were and it just felt really out of place. We both felt something was off. I can't explain it. I don't know if we were just asking for it, being two females alone out there, but we will never do another trip in the woods without our husbands and I always bring a gun now just for my own sanity, even though I doubt a gun would, a gun would have done anything. I never saw the being, but after hearing all the stories about the Bigfoot on your channel, I have a really big hunch that it was a Bigfoot banging on our cabin. Hopefully this isn't too long. It doesn't come off as completely nonsense. I know so much more about this info on genetics, health cures, evolution, lies, and ancient history lies. 
There is so much we don't know about pre-flood times and when the Aleppo Codex was stolen in the mid-1900s, approximately 200 pages, 200 pages was stolen. That was books after Genesis. All of our puzzle pieces of info were likely on those documents. The Luciferian-funded UN supposedly, quote, investigated the stolen codex, end quote. Anyways, I need to stop rambling on, lol. Anyways, God bless you for all you do. Sincerely, Amy. All right, I got gotcha. you. Appreciate you, Amy. I'm sorry it took me this long to find your email. Definitely, I, I don't, I don't proofread these things. I don't, I don't look for emails and think, oh, I'm not going to read this one. I'll read that one. I just slam them in my folders. And then what I did was, I believe I probably did this two years ago in, in the height of the BS, the BS wave on society. And what I did was I made another uh, folder called Truth Warrior. And I think I was encouraging people to send me truth about other topics. And I was putting it in there. And that's where your email ended up. And I'm going through my whole phone and I just found it. So that's what happened there, you guys. But please, Amy, could you please email me back with more? All right. Send all you got. I am a living, breathing, walking sponge. And if, if it, 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 it sounds like it's possibly quite important. So I will, you share it with me and I'll share it with the world. All right, I'll share with the world. You share me what you think we need to know and I'll share it with the world. And then they can take from it what they will or they can leave it. But what you're telling me makes a lot of sense to me for what it's worth. Thank you so much. And I wish, I hope you have a great, safe, and happy new year, all right? Now, here's another one I found in the same folder. And this was January, February, March of this year, I guess. Yeah, this year. Now, listen to this. This is titled Two... Oh, this is titled In Response to Steve from Sussex, UK Share. Hi, Steve. I've emailed in previously, but it was a very long-winded email, so I have abbreviated in response to a recent share you did from a guy living in Sussex in the UK. I just wanted him to know he's not alone and, oh, and not the only one in this part of the world that has witnessed some strange goings-on. My friend and I were fishing a lake in Chaley, C-H-A-I-L-E-Y, excuse me, around 10 years ago, and was a pretty normal trip for us both. Opportunity to catch up and hopefully catch some fish. The fishing, however, was a little slow, and I started to move around trying to stalk some of the carp that may be swimming in the, in the margins. This led me along the lake's edge and into a wooded area, pretty normal sunny afternoon, when I heard this almighty crash and turned to the branches above and to the rear of me. There before me were fresh green leaves falling to the floor from the tree above. My eyes then tracking along to the movement as I saw what looked like a chimpanzee-sized monkey bailing its way through the branches and then off to the ground before disappearing through the ground cover. This thing was shifting and making, and it made me jump as it bolted off. That I swear, it just appeared from nowhere. And there certainly wasn't the tree cover to hide a large animal like this. I would have seen it as I walked through. Now, we don't have monkeys in the UK. And yes, small capuchins can be kept privately on a DWA license. But these are small and far and few between. Capuchin, C-A-P-U-C-H-I-N-S. Not a huge chimpanzee, going to rip your arms off type. There are no zoos nearby, and there were no reports of an escaped one or any other sightings in the area. I immediately told my friend, who of course smiled and laughed, but also knew I wasn't BSing by the look on my face. And although I sounded totally nuts, I know he believed me. I later walked the path down the lake's edge to see if I could track anything, but nothing was showing apart from the newly fallen leaves on the ground. It's been a mystery to this day, but I know I saw what I saw, and it definitely wasn't UK wildlife or a person. I had plenty more to share, including some recent very vivid dreams with distinct messages from Sasquatch, but I'll save those for another time. Keep doing the do. Nathan, Sussex, UK. 
Gotcha, Nathan. Thanks for sending that in, man. And I'm sure the man who you are assuring he's not alone in Sussex is appreciating it too, without a doubt. And there's just no freaking shortage. There's, there's, there's no shortage of experiences coming in from the UK. Although if I've had a few people email me and say, there's no Sasquatch in the UK. I, <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. I'm being a clown. Ow. All right, what's this one about? This is in the Truth Warrior, so I got to be careful because it might not be Sasquatch related. Oh, wait a minute. Where is this? Oh, this is back in the regular notes. Okay, we're good to go. This should be safe to read. Hi, Steve. I love your channel. My name is John. This is one of my most terrifying encounters with dogmen. It happened in the winter a couple years ago at my buddy's cabin. These dogmen are here year-round and do not migrate like they are said to do in other parts of the country. The dates and years run together in my mind in what I call the dogman years. I want to emphasize I'm not a researcher but an observer. Most of the knowledge I get is from listening to the experiences of the folks who write to you and a few other credible channels. My buddy's cabin is located in a campground in Ohio. Go figure. Ohio again. He has been staying there year-round for the past for the last half decade or so, the cabin consists of an RV with three rooms built around it, with a double deck outside the sunroom. Per rules, you can build, but you have to have an RV on the lot with the ability to hook up and pull it out if have to. We first became aware of the presence of Dogman about three or four years prior and started to look further into it. Like I tried to point out, exact dates weren't a priority to me. I was always involved with the, with the moment. That's when, that's when started having multiple sightings of seven different individuals, usually while sitting on the deck till daylight. This particular night had been quiet outside all evening. We were having a spirited debate about a few things until I had enough. I decided to head back home. It was getting late, 12.30 a.m. to be exact, which is usually when the monster vision starts on his deck. But this night he had pissed me off royally, so I just wanted to go home. <laughs> I was walking by the monitor from the from I was walking by the monitor from the one outside camera when I heard the dog man's half growl, half bark, and it stopped me dead in my tracks. We both stayed silent listening. Then we heard the familiar creak of the steps coming up to the door. Then the doorknob jiggled ever so slightly. We stayed motionless and silent. All at once, the floor under our feet rose up. One had gotten in the crawl space, under the cabin part. Now, we are starting to panic a little because they've never been this brazen. They have jumped onto the roof before and thrown things at the cabin, but this is a lot more serious. So I went to the kitchen to peek through the curtain to check the back. We heard a noise outside the band room window, must have meant the bathroom window, which is opposite the door side. So he went to investigate. We met back in the living room. He was sweating and whiter than usual. He said he'd gotten on his knees and pulled up the blind in the sunroom, same side as the band room window, all right, band room, to see two big dog men standing there. He said they didn't look at him, but stepped backward into the shadows. For the next few hours, that felt more like years. We were, we were silent with me in the living room watching the door of my 357 Magnum cocked and ready for action. He sat in the sunroom watching the sliding doors that led out onto the deck with his 45 cocked and ready. We could still hear them outside and I still felt the floor raising up once in a while knowing one was still under there. I part near dribbled pee a couple times. It was the longest night I've ever had. At around 5 a.m. I had to go home because I had to get the grandchildren on the school bus because my other half will be leaving for work. It was my job to get the little one on the bus and make sure his brother and my daughter were on the bus. I was already in big trouble for being out all night. There's no cell service at the cabin. We had to drive to the top of the hill for that. So in a state of absolute terror, where the fear turns to anger, he covered me while I pulled the curtains open in the living room and raised the window, and we both yelled, Come on in, you sons of bitches. Come and get some of this. We're tired of with you. Then everything went silent. So we waited half an hour. Then we went outside, got in my truck, and covered him as he walked around to the entrance 
to under the cabin. The door was shut and everything that was piled against it was put back in different places than they were, but put back nonetheless. Amazing they, how they had the wherewithal to do that. So then I drove home, freaked out all the way, still terrified, got the kids in the bus in time and went to work. That was the scariest encounter that I've ever had to date. But I am here to tell about it, so that means something. I hope someone gets a piece to their puzzle from this. Thanks for reading, doing what you do, and God bless you and yours, John. That's a handful, John. I don't know what your average person would do. I'd be like, I don't give a shit. Kids can miss school for all I care. I'm not going to that door, right? But it sounds like this. there's a lot of shit building up to this. A lot of details missing out, what they look like. When's the first time you've seen one? When you first seen something with a wolf's head on its shoulders, didn't that absolutely have a ridiculous impact on your existence today? Why didn't you, and why don't you possibly write us about that? And, um, and then lead up to this moment. I mean, you've seen seven of these things. How big were they? What color vari variations were there? Can you tell if one's male or female? Did they talk? Did they bark? Did they growl at each other? What'd they do? How'd they interact with each other? I got, I got a million billion questions for anybody who writes in about seeing seven different dogman type des described beings. I could probably ask questions for three hours straight. So, when did you see the very first one? What did it look like? And what did you think about that? How did you react? What'd you do? And have you guys ever shot at one? Have they ever killed any, have, is, has any uh, animals gone missing or been killed in the property or neighbors? I got a shit pile of questions. That's a big email, right? That's a big chunk for any of us to swallow. But I wasn't there. Take from, take from what you will, you guys, or leave it. But I want to hear more from anybody. Because lately I've really had a little bit more curiosity about these damn things with the, with the wolf head on their shoulders than I have in the past. Because, like I said earlier, I would be, I feel that I would be an absolute idiot to not believe thousands of innocent human beings from around the globe, not connected in any way, describing the exact same thing. How dumb is anybody to dismiss that, right? Pretty dumb. But anyway, I think I'll end on that note for now, and I'm going to go in. Let's hopefully try to relax a little bit. Maybe put on some clean clothes. <laughs> I had clean clothes on me for over a week. I've just been soaking wet, covered in shit. I don't know what that sound was. Some, somebody's doing something. But anyways, you guys, hope everybody has a very, very safe and happy new year this evening. If you're going to go out, it'd be crazy. A great year coming up. If you're one of the thousands sitting on the fence wondering whether or not you should write in your experience and share with the people, do it. Maybe try to make this year the year. Do it. You don't have to do it here. Do it somewhere else. But just make sure you get it out, right? It's time for the truth to come out. It's time for us all to know the truth about everything. <laughs> right? Aren't you tired of the bullshit? I mean, come on, you guys. I can't. It's not just being grumpy or cranky. It's... You have to have had enough of the bullshit. Seriously. Come on, you guys. Everybody. Haven't you had enough? Right? I've had it up to the nuts with the bullshit. That's why I'm here. So, let's see how, how big and powerful we get this year. What we learn this year. And I will do a recap of what we have heard and seen and had shared with us and where it was shared from. And I'll, I'll eventually do that. And I'll also do a... Funny one, <laughs> funny year end with some wit. Maybe the top 10 reasons for something. Video again, and I'll share that. And um, we'll see, maybe possibly surely I'll be sharing some videos from deep within the jungle on the other side of the planet. <laughs> Happy New Year. I'll be back shortly. Everybody be safe.
that take a while. <laughs> This is how you come down.